Hi, my name is James Kim. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the most recent work on the Auckland Layout Manager on Haiku. In particular, I'll be outlining some of the features provided by the latest ALM that focus on empowering end-user customization of GUI layouts. Here is a simple GUI created using ALM, and it is currently in normal or operational mode. The transition to editing mode is very simple. For this particular example GUI, I have mapped the switch function to a hotkey Alt-E. However, this is entirely up to the application developer. Now, once the user is in the editing mode, the GUI layout can be flexibly modified as desired using the WYSIWYG editor and the properties window. Just before I demonstrate the common editing operations, I would like to briefly explain the basic concepts of ALM. Firstly, each control in the GUI is organized in an area, which is defined by virtual grid lines called tabs. More specifically, an area is created using a pair of vertical X tabs and a pair of horizontal Y tabs. OK, so in the WYSIWYG editor, the user may want to rearrange, resize, remove or realign some of the controls to suit the user's particular needs. The Properties window displays useful properties about the selected area. Editing operations are very intuitive. To swap the positions of two areas, the user simply drag and drops an area. Similarly, an area can be resized by dragging the border of an area and snapping it to the available tabs. Also, the control in an area can be removed simply by right-clicking and selecting Remove Area Content. Removed controls can be restored using the Properties window. Through the Properties window, additional properties of an area, such as alignment and margins, can be modified. Changing the horizontal or vertical alignment of an area has an effect on its control. Also, more precise alignments can be achieved by changing the margins. At any time, it is possible to switch back to the operational mode by simply closing the properties window. ALM also utilizes a novel technique called the document-oriented approach. Basically, the GUIs are given the characteristics of a document. That is, in addition to editing capability, GUI layouts can be saved and loaded like a document. To save a GUI layout, in the editing mode, go to the Properties window and click File, Save. The personalized layout is now preserved permanently in a document form using a standardized XML-based GUI description language. It can be loaded similarly by clicking File, Load. That is the latest work on ALM. As you can see, ALM provides full editing capability on the end user side, allowing GUI layouts to be personalized, stored permanently, and loaded on multiple platforms. Also, the good news is that the editor is embedded in ALM, which means that any GUI using the ALM Layout Manager can readily access it, provided that the editor is explicitly enabled by the application developer.